Hey there folks, so while I'll be doing some weird stuff on my channel for the next three weeks, uh, my next three Pokebox 5 uploads will be using a new team that I developed and just didn't work right so I had to completely remake it, but this is my a new OU team that I'd crafted, I uh, codenamed Amber, um, it's been completely redone uh, when you'll actually see it on my channel, but anyway, here's three new battles with this team. So the first one, um, so this is against... Uh, Google Knight, also known as KXICHI. I've battled him a few times before. He's a really cool guy. Anyway, let's lead off with my Mew. Uh, now, you can't really know what to expect from a Mew, uh, but this Mew kind of. My Mew runs an even stranger set than most Mews run. So I set the Stealth Rock's first turn. He paralyzes me, but that just paralyzes him because he's got. Uh, because my Mew has Synchronize, which is a great ability. Anyway, I'm expecting his UT to switch out, so I go for Pursuit on my Scavalier. Um, Es yeah, Escavalier, right. Sorry, anyway. Um, he does not switch out. Instead, he uh, stays in, um, and I'm just going to go ahead. He goes ahead and heal bells here. I was expecting him to switch out yet again. I could have gone for the Mega Horn. would have been a much better idea. This is a Swords Dance set. I really just should have done gone for the Swords Dance. It would have been a much better idea, uh, no matter what. Now he switches out. Now he switches out. Um, but I did actually go for the Pursuit. I might as well be banded based on how I'm using this. Escavalier, but oh well. Anyway, out's gonna come his Rotom Wash form, which, you know, had I gone for Swords Dance and then a, um, um, what you call it, Mega Horn, it would have been excellent. But anyway, no, so his Hydro Pump misses, I go for the Mega Horn here and just barely don't take that thing out. I'm like, ah, oh, that's okay, I can revenge it the next turn. He goes for the Pain Split, that's gonna recover off his health a whole, whole lot. I stupidly go for the Iron Head. And had I just gone for another Mega Horn while I hadn't had it hit, I would have KO'd his Rotom, which would have been excellent because Rotoms are so freaking annoying. Anyway, here I'm going to switch out into Moon, my Hydreigon. It's a Scarfed Hydreigon. I'm not really fearing the T-Bolt. That's really okay. Um, so now I'm... He's going to go ahead and withdraw. I go for the Draco Meteor. No, no I'm, I'm thinking that he's going to think I'm going to go for the Draco Meteor. So instead, I go for the Fire Blast, predict his switch, into Scissor quite excellently and I take it out in one hit. So that is completely and totally excellent that I've gotten that Scissor out of the way. Um, now out comes this Conkeldur, which is the bane of my existence. When I put up this team on um, the Smog on Rate My Teams forum, uh, I basically said that my main problem is Conkeldur. I cannot deal with Conkeldur. Um, my new team, I kind of overcompensate and have like three counters for Conkeldur. Um, but that's okay. Anyway, he's predicting a V-Create. I go for the U-Turn, predicting his switch out into his, into this guy. I think I have the Brick Break, but to be honest, Brick Break really doesn't do very much. And now I'm in a good position. I can scare him out, or just hope that he stays in. Uh, he actually stays in. I go for the Surf, not wanting to over-predict. Surf is excellent. It does not actually take him out, but he goes for the Sub. So that's really, really great for me, because he's too weak for the Sub. Wasted turn for him. I'm just going to take him out on the next turn with a Surf. So that's great. Don't have to worry about that guy anymore. And now when I send out Victini, I can go for um, I can go for V creates and it'll be fine. So here I switch out into my Verizion, um, thinking that I should be able to take this guy on one on one. I actually can't. I love this Verizion. Uh, I, I loved RNG in this Verizion. This is a shiny Verizion, legitimately RNG. I was so so proud of myself. But the thing is, it just really does not do well on my team. Uh, as you'll see when you finally see this team on my channel, or rather what this team became, uh, I've replaced it with a Celebi. Uh, actually, I guess I've replaced me with Celebi. But the point is that this version is gone. It just really did not have a place on my team. Uh, this was a mis uh, this was a miscalculation. I thought I could take him out. I, I forgot that I was not at plus one, and I thought that I could take him out with a focus blast. No, not so much. Uh, and he recovers off a lot of health. Anyway, I go out into my Lenny, um, my uh, what I want to say derp. Um, it's a Quag Sire. It's an unaware Quag Sire. Uh, it would seem like a good idea at the time, uh, especially you know he's gotten off some bulk up and thing. I can wall this guy. No, I can't. He's recovering way more health than I can actually do in terms of damage um, with Waterfall. This is a physical guy. I guess most run, uh, you know, Skull and you know, more special leaning. But that really wouldn't be a good idea here against his Conkleder, since most of them run Guts. 
Um, I mean, I guess some run sheer force, but I, I know this guy doesn't because then he wouldn't get any health back from uh, Drain Punch. So anyway, I go for another Waterfall. It's really not doing very much, and basically Lenny's going to have to stay in the die, except for this is really not a good situation because all that means is that he's covering off all of his health. So I really did not play this game quite well, but also it has to do with the fact that my team just really is not cut out to deal with Conkledor. And so now I think I'm going to send... No, I send out Victini. Um, I think I'm just going to go for the V-Create. Uh, he goes for the Mach Punch, and I'm just... I'm thinking that I can survive. Indeed, I survive quite well, considering I do resist it. I'm going to go for the V-Create. This is a banded Victini. And, like, die, you bastard. And he survives. Now, I'm not sure whether I still outspeed at minus one, because I don't actually run too much speed EVs on this guy, so I switch out. I think I probably would have outsped, and I'm pretty sure I could have taken a Mach Punch, even... If he got for the, and he did, indeed he did go for the mock punch, so I really should have stayed in and killed this guy. But oh well. So now I send out my Mew, and then I forgot I think when I send out my Mew that I don't actually have any attacking moves on this Mew. So he sends out Reuniclus as I go for the transform. Yeah, that's right. This is a, this is a really really strange Mew set. So now I am his Reuniclus. Uh, he's gonna switch out into his Yuxi, uh, and he knows this set better than I do. He knows that uh, complete uh, that Yuxi's gonna pretty much wall me. Um, I go for the Combine here, uh, it's not really gonna help me. I mean, I guess, so, I'm trying to remember what this guy's set was. Oh yeah, he goes for the Thunder Wave. Um, not, I think that means that I can't, oh, I can get fully paralyzed with Magic Guard? I thought I couldn't for some reason. Oh well, the point is I get fully paralyzed, and this is just not a good situation. And he's gonna U-turn out. That's really okay, I guess. Um, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stay, well, I definitely stay. Uh, so he goes out back into his Reuniclus. I get fully paralyzed again, which is so obnoxious. Ah, so frustrating. Anyway, I'm gonna have to switch out here. Uh, I go on into Gerard, um, my Escavalier, and he goes for the Combine, and I'm paralyzed, so I know he's gonna outspeed, and I'm just hoping that his Focus Blast is gonna miss, and if it does, then I'll be able to KO with, uh, you know, one of, the, with Mega Horn, and indeed, he misses, and it's great. So I go for the Mega Horn, and he survives with just a sliver of HP, and I am head desking super hard right now. This is so obnoxious, and now his Focus Blast is gonna hit, and considering he's at plus one, he is going to take me out, and that's really going to be awful for me. Anyway, that's okay. I can revenge kill with my um, with my uh, Hydreigon. So I take out his Homunculus. That's great. And now he sends out uh, Minos, his uh, Esca uh, uh, sorry Conkeldur. I'm going to have to switch out, and I'm going to go ahead and switch out into Mew. Um, just you know, really not wanting to die. Unfortunately, I could have if I had predicted that I could have probably KO'd with a um, with a Dark Pulse. Um, at that range of health. I mean, I'm Scarf, not Spec, so, you know, maybe I should run the Calyx, but I don't know. Anyway, he Drain Punches my Mew. Uh, I think I'm gonna get fully paralyzed again. No, I go for the Heal Bell, so that's great. I, um, I'm no longer paralyzed. Um, I wish I had a recovery move, because then I could recover off, transform, and maybe kill this guy. Here, I just go for the transform. He goes for the Drain Punch, and that's gonna be great for him, um, because he's gonna recover back more health because now I don't resist the attack, and so that's a wasted Mew. Oh well, I really just needed to free switch into someone else. I send out Victini at uh, 25 per, uh, health. I really can't take another Mod Punch. I, I really, I guess, if I'm running this team, I really needed a spinner, but oh well. So, yeah, his Conkeldur is completely ruining my entire team. I send out my Hydreigon. He's going to KO with a Mach Punch, and that, I believe, is going to be good game. So, great game, Google Knight. Uh, I will see you folks later.